morning y'all it is Christmas week this is Monday and we're rolling toward Christmas next Sunday and today I'm gonna make some cookies and I don't want to have to roll and cut sugar cookies so this is a drop sugar cookie that's crispy and delicious and sometimes during this season when everything is super sweet and decadent and rich you want a little bite of something that's will satisfy your sweet tooth but it's not that rich and sweet so these cookies just hit the spot with a cup of tea or coffee or just to run by and grab you one for a snack so I'm gonna get y'all over to the Bosch mixer because it has a lot of flour in it and I'm gonna use that mixer instead of the KitchenAid and we'll get them mixed up and baked and this is my first batch of cookies because I'm behind this year. So I'm going to try to be churning out some good stuff today so y'all should get some more videos. But we're going to make uh, Granny's uh, drop sugar cookies today. Okay, the first thing we need to put in is a cup of butter at room temperature. And I've got mine out and it's soft. And since it's soft, I'm going to go ahead and add my sugar, two cups of sugar. And I'm going to cream that a little bit, and then I'm going to add two cups of, I mean one cup of oil. two eggs better put my lid on it let me scrape it down just a little bit Like this shield. I don't have to worry about it slinging all over me. Just want to get that all incorporated really well. I'm going to need five cups of flour. Just swoop it in there and level it off. There's three. Four and one more makes five. And in with those dry ingredients, I'm going to add two teaspoons of soda one teaspoon of baking powder, two teaspoons cream of tartar, and one half of a teaspoon of salt and let that mix in with the flour. I need to mix in two teaspoons of vanilla and I have some wonderful homemade vanilla from my friend Susan and it is so strong and good so I'm going to use her vanilla in these tea cakes thank you again my friend for sending this to me she sent me two different kinds of vanilla and some homemade Worcestershire sauce that's just fabulous I'm going to mix it a little 
little bit, and then I'm going to scrape it down and mix it some more. They'll be ready to drop on those cookie sheets and bake. Now you could sprinkle your red and green sugar on these if you wanted to make them look a little more festive, but I'm not. We just like cookies, so I'm just going to have them plain. I try to make something like this every year so that if you get tired of all the richness, you'll still have a bite of something sweet without all of the sugar. And Well, they have sugar, and you know what I mean. They're not so super rich. those are mixed enough I'm gonna get my pans I've got my oven preheated to 350 and I'm gonna get over there and get them on the cookie sheet I'm gonna spray it with Pam but let me check I got my oil butter sugar eggs soda salt bacon powder cream of tartar vanilla and flour so let me get it over there get the camera where y'all can watch me and I'll get them on the pans and get some in the oven spray my pans lightly with uh, kitchen spray, Pam, the dough, and I'll start putting it on there. Let me get my little cookie scoop out of here. Which one? I think I'm going to use this one. get the goodness off the beaters here. I mean, if y'all gonna watch me cook, you might as well watch me do all of it, huh? I'm gonna go to April's house on uh, Tuesday. We're gonna go shopping, and I am going to video her Christmas decorations because they are fantastic. And y'all will probably be seeing that on Wednesday. So you'll have a tour of her house. I'm going to spray this right quick. And that way my dough will turn, turn loose even better. These are very good. My pastor is Brother Culberth. He's the senior pastor and Brother Culberth, his son, is the pastor. And it was Senior's mom. This is her recipe, Granny Culberth. So I'm going to get this tray filled. And I'm just going to keep filling trays and making cookies. And I'll come back and show you what they look like when they get done. And I'll probably be making two or three more kind today. This is supposed to make about six dozen cookies, so we'll see. But I'm going to get these in the oven at 350 and uh, bake them for 10 to 12 minutes. And we'll see how they turn out. And I'll be right back. Set my timer and we'll wait. Okay, I got the first batch out of the oven. And uh, I'm going to get over here and get them on a rack to cool and get some more in the oven. But aren't they pretty? Just perfect little cookies. I've got my Young Living um, oil diffusing here, the Christmas spirit. And y'all, every now and then I can smell it a little bit. I hope it gets better. Maybe my smeller's coming back. I better get these off of this pan. I got this big old cookie scoop. It's a Wilton. And I used my 40% off coupon and got it one time at Joanne Fabrics because they got all that kind of stuff back there too. So if y'all need one, 
it sure is handy when you start getting them off. You can get several at a time. We'll keep baking, and I'll let y'all know how many I got using that little, I'm assuming that's a, I don't know, teaspoon, tablespoon. I don't know what size scoop it is. I'll try to look on it, but it's the small one. And it's probably Pampered Chef. I had all sizes of theirs from my parties and getting free stuff. So I'm going to get back over there and put some more cookies on here and just keep churning out the cookies. This is the cookie factory today. I decided that I would put my oven on convection bake because I can bake three trays at a time and get this done because I got a lot of baking to do today. So I'm going to put all three of these in. I get through a whole lot quicker like this. And I'm going to set my timer for six minutes so I can rotate my trays. But that makes it handy. You know, when we built the house, I've told y'all before, I just had a regular little, what, 30 inch something four burner stove with one oven. And I so bad wanted a big old stove with six burners on it and two ovens, but we couldn't afford it. So a few years ago, I got to remodel my kitchen, and I got to get this stove used, and it was my dream stove, and I absolutely love it. It's a Viking professional, and I would have never afforded a brand new one, but I sure was thankful to find a used one that I could afford, and it works like a charm. So, I, that's, I had, well, I had had a little tabletop convection oven. I worked at a kitchen shop, and instead of taking money, I took stuff. And I got um, a little convection tabletop, but I didn't use it a whole lot. It was new, and it was just like a little toaster oven, kind of. But, boy, this one comes in handy when it's cookie season, and I want to get through quicker. So... Just going to tell y'all, if you have a dream and there's something you really want, hold on to it, because dreams really do come true. It did for me. So I'm going to get these cookies made and get them on the sheet over there, and then I'll um, show y'all what they look like and get them in a canister to stay fresh, and I'll get on with the next batch, and y'all have another video coming up. Okay, I've got all but one tray done. And it will be uh, ready in about three minutes. I'm just going to show y'all something else I got. I ordered this from Amazon because we always use the throwaway cups and write our name on it with a um, marker. There's a slot on each side here for you to put your marker and people put their name on their cup. Then you don't have a bunch of wasted cups and everybody knows which cup's theirs. I got this off Amazon. So they have different styles. Thought I would show y'all that. When I went on that little road trip with April here a while back, she surprised me at this Christmas store we went in with this beautiful, I, she's not me looking at it, red plaid uh, platter. So a perfect place to display my cookies. And I just, I love it and I love these cookies. So this is a quick one, makes about six dozen. It's not um, a lot of unusual ingredients. And it's something that's good when you just need a little bite of something sweet, but you don't want something real sweet. So, make you some uh, little quick sugar cookies. I know y'all are all <clears throat> indulging in the season and making goodies and sharing with your friends and family and yourself. And we'll die in January. We need to celebrate an important birthday. Aren't we thankful? that all those years ago, on whatever day it really was, that Jesus was born in that stable and laid in that manger and wrapped in swaddling clothes and the beginning of our salvation, the lamb that was slain and we never had to offer sacrifices again like they did in the Old Testament. We're very blessed that Jesus came, the greatest gift that the world has ever received. If you don't know him, you need to get that little old black book out called the Bible and read and see what you can find out. He'll sure make a difference in your life. They sing a song at our church that says, Let me tell you about my Jesus and let him change your life. I'm so thankful for this season. I'm thankful that I have a knowledge of what it's all about. I'm thankful that I know that baby that was born in Bethlehem. Y'all have a Merry Christmas. Celebrate his birthday. 
spend time with your friends and family, make some wonderful memories, and enjoy the freedoms and the good times that we can experience right now. We don't know what the future holds. We know who holds the future. But that don't mean it'll always be as pleasant as it is right now. And comparing this to when I was a kid, it's scary right now. Make some memories. Put your phones away. Spend time with each other. And I'll see you again and probably tomorrow with another recipe. God bless you.